programme today, we will be focusing on the World Wide Web and asking some important questions. Can you believe everything you read and view online? Do you have personal experience with regards to misinformation? Call or text us to voice your opinion. You're listening to... It's been around 30 years since Tim Berners-Lee had the vision for the World Wide Web. The internet contains information about all topics under the sun and beyond. But today we ask, is everything on the internet true? Is the information reliable? Our first caller today is Brenda from Fostrasol. Good day to you, Brenda. Well, yes, today is a fantastic day. I have to phone you straight away. I have just seen on Facebook that Wales will have an extra bank holiday on St David's Day. Mark Drickford has announced that everyone will have an extra holiday as a thank you for following social distancing rules during the coronavirus pandemic. Assembly Presiding Officer Ellen Jones has also said that everyone will receive £100 and that the Members of Parliament will deliver cowl and Welsh cakes to all houses in Wales on the day. Are you sure that this information is absolutely true? But I've read this on the internet this morning. It must be true. Have you considered that this could possibly be fake news? Well, not at all. We're talking about Mark Drakeford and Ellen Jones here, not Donald Trump and Donald Duck. Thank you, Brenda, for your call. And let's hope that the cow and Welsh cakes are tasty when Ben Lake delivers them to you. If this is true, of course. On the line, we have Professor Justin Credible who is an expert on the World Wide Web. Thank you for the invitation to be on the programme. First of all, Justin, can you clarify, what is misinformation? It's inaccurate information that is often given to someone deliberately in order to make them think that something's true. Is the information on the web true and reliable? The simple answer is no, but it's a little more complicated. When you find new information online, it's important that you check if it's reliable. How can we do this, Justin? You can look for the same story or information on other websites. Also look to see if the story appears in the newspaper and on the TV news. Do you have advice for children and young people? It is important to ask responsible adults for advice, as life experience is a great help in deciding whether something is true or not. You must question what is on the web and challenge misinformation. Do not forward news that is potentially false or information that is going to harm other people. Thanks very much, Justin, for your important advice. We've received a message on Twitter from Paige Turner in the form of a rhyming couplet. You must question and believe before you forward and deceive. Over now to Tushu Wewer Farm, Kum Sakhpant. Hi, Yanto. Am I live now on Radio Pro Pedder? You certainly are, Yanto. Oh, good thing. This internet is dangerous. It's not to be trusted. I read last week that if I kept a cow in the freezer and trained her to jump up and down, she would produce milkshake. What happened, Yanto? I got frostbite from milk in her and I had to go to Sainsbury's to buy the milkshake. Thank you, Yanto, for a very interesting call. I'm afraid our time is up. You're listening to... The important message to remember is... You must question and believe before you forward and deceive. Pop oil!